Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. It is your girl, Brittany Jade, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how you can organize your linen closet and how to maximize small space such as this so that you can get your life together. I hope that you guys enjoy this video. If you do, make sure you give it a thumbs up and let's get right on into organizing. So if you're anything like me and you are stuck at home and wanting to organize different places in your house, maybe some spaces that you have avoided, but now with this pandemic going on, and if you're under a rock and don't know, we are under quarantine here in our state where we have to stay at home as much as possible to keep everyone healthy. I figure this is the best time to start getting everything organized. And the way that I'm going to organize my closet is to start with a clean slate. This is typically how I like to get things started whenever I organize a space. I just like to get everything out and start completely new and fresh. So that's what I'm doing here. I'm going to take everything out. I'm going to organize everything. I'm going to go through what I have, see what I need to get rid of and this just really helps to give me a clear idea of everything that I have and see what I can use and what I need to get rid of to help maximize that space. So right now I'm taking inventory of everything that I have and I'm grouping everything together in like items. So I'm going to be getting all of my throw blankets together. I'm going to be removing some things that don't even belong in the linen closet. Like I have a lot of kitchen towels and random curtains and some blankets that need to go in my daughter's room. This is really a good idea to go ahead and get everything out because you can really, like I said, you can see everything that you have. So I'm also going to fold my towels here in um, such a way. I really love folding my towels in this way it just makes them all look super uniform and I really like this so I'm gonna fold all the towels that I'm gonna keep and I'm gonna form a pile of everything that I'm going to get rid of Let me know down in the comments, guys. How are you doing on quarantine? Are you guys going crazy? Have you developed a schedule that works for you? Have you been inspired to organize anything of your own? I'm really curious to know. Make sure you drop down and let me know how everything has been going for you and what you've managed to get done or also what you haven't managed to get done too. I think that during this time and while we're going through this crazy pandemic in the world right now, it's important to understand that we need to give ourselves grace. And even if we are not accomplishing all of our goals that we have, or if we're feeling overwhelmed by just being stuck in the house, that's okay. You don't have to feel pressure to get your entire house organized or start a business or do anything super productive while you're stuck at home because it can be really fear inducing just the fact that we're stuck in something that's unknown and we don't know where we're going from here. So I just want to encourage you guys to be kind to yourselves and drop a comment down below and definitely let me know how you're doing with this because I'm really curious to know and I think that this community just really rallies together and offers a lot of support to us. So just as I folded towels in a very specific way, I think that it's super important that you maximize space by folding things properly. So I'm gonna show you something here. Okay, so I'm gonna show you guys really quickly how to fold a fitted sheet. I very may well do a voiceover. So if I'm looking crazy and y'all can't hear me or you're listening to a voiceover, that's why. But what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna find your four points. And I like to find the points that are longer apart. So I'll take the two points that are longer apart and I will flip it over like that. And then I stick my hand in there 
and then I'll just bring this part, the other half down, and I'll flip this on the inside and I will grab the other two points. It's like I'll stick my hand in. There we go, so I've gotten, I've got the two points of the seams there and it looks like this on the inside. So then what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna lay this sheet down. I'll show it to you really quickly. You're gonna take your two points and you're gonna lay them just like this. And then what I like to do is just, I've got my point right here and I've got my point right here and I just fold it kind of like that, like that the inner corners are on the inside. And then what I'm gonna do is, is I'm gonna fold the bottom half up one third of the way and then I'm gonna take the two points and I'm gonna fold those in. And I'll try and make this like as neat as possible if I can. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna start tucking. I think I can probably do like maybe four, but we'll see what I can do. And then I'll just roll, keep rolling. and then I'll roll them into each other for the last one. So for this one, it's gonna like roll into each other and then bam, it'll just roll like that. It's honestly not the prettiest looking thing, but it looks so much better. So it just lays really flat in the closet and that's it. So now for the assembly portion and putting everything back into the linen closet, this is also another tip that I have when utilizing a small space. I'm gonna use these two shelves that are right at eye level and super easy for us to grab. I'm gonna use what we use the most, which is our towels, because I feel like we're constantly going in there and getting new towels, either for us or for our kids. And then at the bottom there, I am going to be putting our sheets because we do change our sheets out once a week, sometimes more, just kind of depends. And then I'm gonna use the top shelf for for our blankets and things that we don't typically use quite as often. And this is just gonna really help maximize space because it's going to keep all of the like items that we use constantly in the same space. So this is what I'm working with so far. I've got my spare comforters up there. We've got two rolls of towels and um, spare pillows. And then we've got our sheet sets down there. I still have this big pile of like seasonal blankets and throws and I'm gonna see if maybe I can like fit them into that space right up there if I roll them um, so I know that that big red one probably won't fit but let's see what we can do So if you're new or if this is one of your first times watching a video, welcome and thanks so much for checking out today's video. If you do like these cleaning videos, please make sure that you give this video a thumbs up and if you're new again, I hope that you would consider hitting that subscribe button. I post motherhood related content as well as cleaning and organization skill content over on my channel and I would love to have you join my family. So honestly, it doesn't look that great. I'm probably gonna do some more research and find out what I can do. Um, but this is what I've got so far. I really love the towels. I love how uniform everything looks. And I've got two little baskets that I'm gonna put down there with washcloths. So I'm gonna go and go through my washcloths really quick and my towels and just fold those up. Boy, 
So I'm storing all of my washcloths in this little crate here that I painted white and I just like doing this because I feel like it keeps them all together as opposed to if I just throw them in my closet on the racks. You know how it is, if you knock over one row of these little tiny washcloths like this, it's game over. They're all over the place so this just really helps to contain everything and it helps keep everything looking really nice and neat. So the last thing I'm doing is piling up everything that we have right now that we don't need anymore or that I plan on donating. And you might be thinking, how am I gonna donate during quarantine? What I've done is that I have placed everything into these plastic bags, which I plan on taking downstairs to wash and disinfect. And I'm going to keep them in a designated place that I have set up in my garage. So I definitely recommend doing that. Staying home, staying safe, staying away from places like Goodwill, at least for now, you guys. And this this is the final product and how everything looks. I really loved the way that this came out and I'm really loving that we have a functional small space. If you guys like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and leave me a comment down below and I'll check you guys in the next video. Bye.